You're studying at the Glenn Gould School of Music. Cassandra Warner took her talents and that incredible voice around the world, traveling extensively and actually becoming an ambassador for classical music. And we're here at Oasis Dental, and I have two brothers who are also dentists, Dr. Rick and Dr. Vic. Now, your smile. It's the first thing that everyone sees when they meet you, but what's going on behind the scenes? So today's topic will be... Oral health. As well as... General health. All in the next 30 minutes. Stay tuned for today's health and fitness. I want to ask you again, aside from hypnosis and, and your craft, um, something near and dear to your heart is your family and yeah. community and giving back. Um, but I've got to ask you, on that first date with Dale, <laughs> did oh, yeah. she make eye contact knowing you're a hypnotist? Yeah, you or, know what? Which you kind of know. <laughs> no. If you talk to Dale. Well, most people leave footprints wherever they go to visit, but here at Hilton Falls, they're actually leaving handprints. So what they've done is they put their hands in clay, and then they come up and they'll leave their hand impressions on the uh, the rock. And also we've got some people engraving in trees here, um, some romantic messages <laughs> in hearts, and um, absolutely beautiful. Again, when you look through here and see these exposed roots and this backdrop of this rock wall, it's absolutely breathtaking here at Hilton Falls. Now, here at Allison's we make our own chicken stock, but... Okay. That would be, this would be my chicken stock. <laughs> For the rest of the people, For this me, works me really and the gang. Well. For me and the gang, okay. And Virginia, you know what's interesting is because this isn't something new. This is, Peter is, how many generations of uh, leather making? You married into this, <laughs> into this family, yeah. immigrated to Canada, um, and have built this, built this business here, in, you know, in Milton. And I, I think it's just such a fascinating story for people that are, you know, they have a dream and they're, they're carrying on their tradition from their homeland. You've, you've actually, you're a success story because you've made it work and you're doing what you love uh, as a business. Actually Okay. The first thing we do, we throw it on here and we look for the bubble. As you can see, you can see some ribs bubbling right there. Okay. So what we're going to do, at least want to show her how to flip a rib there. Okay. We're going to take a rack of ribs, nice and gentle, and we want to feed it up. I got two tongs. She has two tongs. I'm just a newbie at this, but graduate. I might have to get this glove dirty. You got to get to graduate. <laughs> and again, Marion's from, from Germany, but let me take you to Germany again. And stepping back a little bit in time at the Hans Theater. Mm -hmm. This is the home of where the wonder of Houdini, this, is his, this, is, this was his stage. You perform there. And at the end of that performance, standing there to a standing ovation, tell me about that moment. Mayor Gord Krantz, we've got Mayor Hazel McCallion. We've been having a great chat all morning, some fabulous food here at Chorus. And we've got another email question. Before we went to break, we send it out now, to everybody at home. Kelly, to, uh, before you get to that, now, have you ever been caught in between a rock and a hard place before? Because today? Today, I think we definitely <laughs> Or a hurricane, and what should we, if we need or, a name I've for you, called, Mr. Krantz. I haven't called it all, so. <laughs> A tornado and a hurricane. Our next artist spotlight is with the multi-talented Nancy Cuddle. And I'm here in her studio, and I've got a couple of friends on either side of me. But we're going to talk to her because Nancy does not start a sculpture. Nancy is known for starting a movement. And this latest project, she's a year and a half into the making, another year and a half to go. But her vision for what she's going to do with these interesting characters on either side of me will change the lives of many people along the path as she presents this to the world in another year and a half. Here years later at Chris Hadfield School, yeah. you're about to walk in a gym with hundreds of children who just look up to you and just the inspiring them to pursue their dreams. How does that feel to walk into that gym today? There's a couple different things simultaneously for me. First, it's surreal mm -hmm. uh, to still be alive and have a school named after me. <laughs> is, is, uh... Well, this week on Today's Arts, we're actually here in Campbellville and we're going to art camp. That's the stingray. stingray. And I'm noticing there's a book up here. Have you been getting ideas from, from pictures as well? Yeah. It's absolutely wonderful. So you did the wash, and then you did your pencil drawing, and now you're adding your color. So what are you, what are you painting here? Um, I don't really know what it is, but I found it in that book. And it looks like it's going to be a great project. I'd love you to explain because it's not just you performing. You know, like you go to Mamma Mia, hit your mark, you know, you're singing, you finish, thanks so much, the applause, mm -hmm. and you, you know, you, you head out. Um, for this one, you've got to, there's no one to run your lines off of. You've you're got to find that and ground yourself before you hit that stage. And when you come out, you're in character and you're ready to go. How do you find that? What goes on before you hit the stage? Babe. Oh, look, we've got a, we've got a, you make a little wreath. This for Isn't breakfast is a great idea. Brunch. I mean, think of the summer where people are outside sitting on the patio, but we're going to take it up a notch here with lunch or a nice light dinner. We've got, and I can see in your eyes the love of what you do. 
It's, it's, it's the passion is there. And I, it was interesting, we spoke before uh, the interview and you were saying the world is an interesting place through an artist's eyes. It's, oh, a, it's a different it magical world. And I see that, that love of what you do it, when it you is. look at your piece. Paging Heather Anderson, could you put your hand up if you're in the store? Heather, is that you? Hello, I'm Kelly from Your Lifestyle with TV Kojiko, and we have a letter nominating you for an ambush. So we're going to be whisking you away right now with a limousine over to a spa for the day. So if you'd like to grab your purse, uh, we're going to take you away. <laughs> you have a, some ladies on cash who think the world of you and wrote the most fabulous letter to nominate you for an ambush. And we're going to take you away. There's a limousine waiting outside. And we're going to put you in a bathrobe. And we're going to pamper you. And you're going to get your hair done and a pedicure and a delicious lunch. Is it going to be OK? Can we take you away right now? Well, the parade is underway. And we're heading up Main. We have uh, Mr. Kranz. We've got Lisa Raid in the back seat. We've got Gene up here in the front and Brad behind the, the helm here. We're going to uh, blow up a little steam and head up Main. <laughs> How significant 50 years, Mr. Krantz, you said you haven't missed a year. No, I haven't, not past 50 years. It's going to be a tearjerker at the end, but in a nice way. In a nice way, a tender yeah. way. And it yeah. might uh, bring some romance to some of these yeah. couples that are looking like, hmm, we've been married 50 years. <laughs> and have that, an argument. Before I get that cab. <laughs> We'd like to see a large audience come out and enjoy this show. And Jeff, before we, uh, <clears throat> before we close, now, your wife. Yes. Do you find you're a bit more romantic? Uh, Absolutely. These days. Really? Okay, so she's not going to get, yeah, she's No, she's not getting a cab anytime soon. <laughs> is she getting soon. roses in November? <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> Thank we'll you. We'll be back in just a moment. We're gearing up to do 50 cars a day. Um, we've had days where we've done 98. And uh, we're just... Uh, and look at the, the smile. And you, you know what? You're, and you, you know what? And everybody here, the same thing. It's that quality mm -hmm. service, but everybody mm -hmm. enjoys what they're doing here. It's and that the, satisfaction and the, and for and you as cool well. And the cool thing, yeah. the really cool thing yeah. is that a lot of times, most of the time, we can do it in 48 hours and nobody can touch that. We just stream. You can't touch that. <laughs> Let's leave it at that, John. <laughs> you can't touch this. <laughs> touch up in a flash. We'll be back in just a moment. Oh, oh, Merry Christmas! And Candy Cane is absolutely beautiful. So I was going to say, Santa, ho, ho. Ho, ho, can you get me to the door in style? Ho, 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 ho. You've got one of your elves with you for helping. This is, this is Mrs. Claus. Mrs. Claus, well, hello, how are you? <laughs> and so you had a romantic trip down from the North Pole. <laughs> so how exciting is this? We've got 250 people in there. Children are so excited about the holidays, but especially combining Santa and a fundraiser for the hospital. And how fantastic is this? A cup of coffee, some fabulous music, and a great event helping our community.